Okay, so starting this one off, I just want to apologize. This is my second review on the channel, and I tried to buy a light box for this one to try to be a little bit more professional, and the light box is extremely too small, so that's why you can kind of see in the background, and I don't really have a studio or anywhere I can really use as a studio due to the living environment. But, hopefully, you can at least see the figure in frame. You might not be able to see the top of the box, but I can try to adjust the camera and adjust the box as needed. But, for this one, I'm reviewing the Clan of the Dusk Articulated Icons Ninja. I was lucky enough to get it while it was on sale. I'm pretty sure they're not making them anymore, so you won't be able to get this color scheme from my knowledge anyways. So... Yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so hopefully I adjusted the camera enough. I'm having to lean really far down because I don't have a table, so I'm doing this in the floor. So, trying to position the light box and everything. Uh, the package is a little dusty. I have it sitting under my bed, and it came with like some glue right here, I guess. I don't really know what that is. In the box once I got it. But, this is kind of a tribute to the Foosh, the creators of... Articulated icons. It got really dark. Sorry. Uh, let's see. There you go. You can kind of see that so they created the line and I'm a fan of their channel or channels I should say there's a bunch of them and Yeah, I like action figures. I wanted to get into reviewing watching Robo and We live in the same state. So it's kind of cool to See someone with the same interest in the same area as me but enough about that. Here's the side of the box. It's going to be extremely hard for me to position it to where you can read that. The wording is so small and the light box is small. Hopefully, whoops, technical the back of the box. You can see the ninja and a really cool pose. Another little bio at the top. You can, if I lift it up, you can kind of see the bottom of the packaging. And the other figures, I guess, in this line, um, just a few of them, there are a bunch of color variations, which I was going to get while they were on sale, but I didn't want to spend all of my money because I'm still trying to save up. So if I had a choice, if I could get two other ones either sent to me or bought, I will buy the lime green one. I don't remember the names. And then one of the tan ones. I don't think it's on the back of this box yet yeah, it's not but they were also on sale for I think 11.99 something like that total cost including shipping this was only 17 something so about $18 and that's really great for an action figure especially a six inch figure considering most of them are 30 plus now if you include shipping and still around 20 at the store so so all the accessories are in the light box, just kind of thrown in there. I'm trying to do this quickly before the house gets loud, but oops, I bumped the light box. So I'm actually kind of surprised. So I'm gonna start off by showing the extra head, which you can see here. Maybe if I back it up, it'll be a little brighter. There we go. So just a simple masked head, and it's the only extra head you get. Whenever I saw the box, Whoops, well, yeah, we'll just leave that. I kind of thought that this would be a head, but I'm actually not sure how I feel about it. I like it. I just, I don't know. I feel like it could have been a little bit different. If it were an extra head, I wouldn't complain. Whoops, not in frame. If it were a little bit less finicky material, it probably would have been a little better, but this makes for easy access to get it on. Uh, Excuse the background noise, um, sorry about that. But there is a little QC issue, it looks like right there, where my nail is, a little black dot, but I'm sure I can either take that off or ignore it. But also, so that's the hood. Also, we have the hood down, which is this piece, which kind of looks like a bandana, but there's that, and then Onto the weapons, we have, 
I want to say it's a kunai. So we have one of these, which is pretty cool. And then we have two swords, one shorter than the other. And then this is the short one. So we have a couple paint apps, the blades painted. We have just solid black plastic for the handle. And the other is identical, just, the other one is identical, just a little bit longer, like I said. So there's those two and then the sheaths, which I think I just broke on camera. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I just separated it. So I'm guessing the glue just came out. It's still together for now. You can kind of see, not on camera, but you can see. Okay, I paused the video because my niece is playing in the background, but I want to get this review out hopefully tonight. So the day I'm recording this, it's the 9th of September, and I'm trying to get it out before tomorrow because I don't know if I'll have time to record tomorrow or how light the house will be tomorrow. So I apologize again for background noise. But back to what I was saying, I'm pretty sure I separated this. It's not too big of a deal. It's staying together. Just, I don't know if there was glue there or if it was already like this, but it's separating right here. And then the other one is, looks like it's fine. And I took them off, but it came on this little peg so you can peg it into your figure and I will put that back on for the actual figure review but we have two of these hands these open hands and then we have two fists and then the hands that come on the figure are the weapon holding hands which I forgot to put out here so I'll show you those in a second but that's all for the accessories besides the little backpack. I don't know what this is called, the little harness. It's full rubbery material, so I'm assuming it got hot on shipping. And so now it's just like this, which is kind of funny. So here he is standing up for under $20. I can't complain about the figure at all. Um, also, here's his satchel or whatever you call this. It was on them, but I put the backpack on them, or the harness, I should say, and I didn't know if I should put that on it or not. But I figured I would show it to you because it's part of the figure, part of the packaging, and the review. So he's barely standing right now, but that's not his fault. That's the fact that the light box's bottom is foam, and I might take that out, but it'll expose the connection points but oh well back to the actual figure what you all came to watch I have him just decked out with a couple accessories I didn't bother changing the head or going too crazy with it but here's the back of the figure it's mostly the same color and they did some nice shading on the legs and not too much on the chest that I can tell right now, but the belt looks nice and just the figure in general looks nice. Can't really go wrong with ninjas, but I will complain or not complain. I will point out that the hands fall off easily. Um, all the joints are super tight except the hands, like as you see there, both of them are like that not sure why and this one looks like it's rubbing the inside of the joint there and um, but yeah so now it just wants to fall um, but yeah so that's all I can really complain about right now I might be able to tighten that up with some nail polish or something just to get the joints back to how they should be. The rest of the joints are tight. Just look at the feet, where all the markings are. There's pegs, in case you have a stand. There's a peg hole here. I don't know what that's for. So, sculpt is nice. The paint apps are nice. I like the way the hands are painted. There are some sculpted veins. 
and for the price it's amazing like i'm very happy with it and i'll probably end up buying some more in the future to compare it to also when i was putting this on i had to pop the head and pop one of the arms off i didn't feel like i was going to break anything so that's a plus articulation wise 360 at the hold on let me adjust the camera there you guys go 360 at the head it's stiff because this is the first time i've ever opened it and there is a hinge but i can't get it to do anything it feels like it's glued in place well there we go so realistic range i don't know how far that's gonna go but for this head that's probably gonna get in the way so i'd say you can get it about there it does move out of the way or try to and then down goes down about as far as i want it to go and then we have cut here so the arms can rotate the bicep which as you can tell i'm struggling it goes up all the way around goes up that high out that far up that far double jointed elbow so you can get it to go across as far as i want it to go i don't really know what that is there if you can see that you can it's um looks like plastic or glue or something so that's as far as the arms move of course it rotates here there's a ball hinge which i don't even really want to mess with other than that i'm struggling again because sorry sculpt is nice the paint apps are nice I like the way the hands are painted there are some sculpted veins and for the price it's amazing like i'm very happy with it and i'll probably end up buying some more in the future to compare it to also when i was putting this on i had to pop the head and pop one of the arms off i didn't feel like i was going to break anything so that's a plus articulation wise 360 at the hold on let me adjust the camera there you guys go 360 at the head it's stiff because this is the first time i've ever opened it and there is a hinge but i can't get it to do anything it feels like it's glued in place well there we go so realistic range i don't know how far that's gonna go but for this head that's probably gonna get in the way so i'd say you can get it about there it does move out of the way or try to and then down goes down about as far as i want it to go and then we have cut here so the arms can rotate the bicep which as you can tell i'm struggling it goes up all the way around goes up that high out that far up that far double jointed elbow so you can get it to go across as far as i want it to go i don't really know what that is there if you can see that you can it's um looks like plastic or glue or something so that's as far as the arms move of course it rotates here there's a ball hinge which i don't even really want to mess with other than that I'm struggling again because sorry all right other than that we have different joints at the waist my light box is moving sorry all right so we can see at the waist we can go down that far at the actual waist using both joints and then back combining both joints can go back that far rotation here and then rotates at the waist it just doesn't want to because it's brand new but i'm sure that goes 360 as well mine feels like it's glued in place right now though legs kick up that high and then thigh swivel is probably one of the looser parts 
double jointed knees. So, well, I tried. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can get that without breaking it. No, I feel like I'm going to break it. So, maybe if I heat it up with some hot water or a hair dryer, I will do a part two to this review and do full on articulation only for that one. If you guys want to tune in for that, I might do it. I'm not sure. So, for now, it's a single joint on that one. This one, oh, I can get this one. Okay, here we go. So leg goes up that far, and then can get it to go all the way back down. There is a joint here. I don't know what type of joint. It looks like just a swivel. So rotation at the calf. All the babies are crying in the background. But I'm almost done. So <laughs> bear with me. So we have a hinge here so you can go up that far with the foot you can go back really far and then there's obviously no toe hinge but you can get this much tilt which is way more than i'd ever need and then that's going to be it for articulation that i've noticed and that's going to be it for this review and then I will try to get some pictures as part two. I'll do articulation and I'll go into some poses in part two. So I might do a photo shoot tonight or tomorrow. Be on the lookout for that video. And of course the kid in the background. I hopefully will get some more of these or get some other figures to review to keep my channel going because I originally wanted this to be a gaming channel, but now I'm wanting to get more into action figure reviews. So hopefully I'm able to do that as I please. But thank you guys for watching. If you stayed this far, I am very surprised and you are awesome. And I'll see you when I see you.